Earlier this summer, Nintendo showed off its NES Mini console, a shrunk-down version of the 8-bit Nintendo Entertainment System that packs 30 classic games into that tiny little console. Very cool. It's going to be a hot, hot uh, item, I think, this Christmas. Uh, as we get closer to Christmas time, Nintendo is unveiling more features to get us nerds excited about it. First, the system will support save states. So that brings the ability to save your progress to one of four slots per game, regardless of if the original game supported the saving of progress or not so that's really neat uh and that's something you can do if you know if you're running some of these games on emulation and everything so it's nice that they brought that over second the system will allow gamers to switch between 50 hertz or 60 hertz refresh rates uh so pal or ntsc purists get a game that kind of moves at the speed that they were used to back in the day and then finally uh three display modes to choose from there's pixel perfect for the truest output from nes which is like square pixels four three which stretches the pixels wide and apparently, I mean, I understand the 4.3 was, you know, the TV ratio back when I was a kid, but I didn't under, I didn't realize that Nintendo outputs square pixels, but 4.3 would stretch it out. So what we saw was actually untrue to the original format. That's what we saw when we were kids. So uh, they have a mode to support that. And then finally, there's a special CRT filter <laughs> that emulates the shortcomings and inconsistencies of CRT televisions. Uh, and I wonder how well that's done, because I feel like anytime you ever see those types of emulations... They don't look very convincing. But what do you think about this? I mean, the CRT filter just fills me with joy and makes me laugh. The idea that you want to create a filter so it doesn't look too good. It yep. needs to look like a CRT set. Uh, that makes me think that they need to add in a couple of other modes. There needs to be a mode where uh, they simulate a younger sibling asking, begging to play. Mm, uh, okay. So that needs to be. In. And there needs to be a mode where an older sibling is telling you to get off the uh, the game system so you can watch Magnum P.I. That. <laughs> <laughs> Both of those things need to be in place to really have the full 1980s experience of playing the Famicom, right? Um, I love this. I I expect that I am going to put it on my Christmas wish list. I didn't. I never owned a Nintendo growing up. Yeah, um, I had an not. Atari 2600. Then a little thing happened called the video game crash of 1983. Mm -hmm. And then I moved to the Apple IIe computer and never got a chance to get a Nintendo. I would go to a friend's house and play Nintendo. This will let me finally have the Nintendo system I always wanted as a kid. Uh, and it lets me be lame by saving my game in games that you never could say. You, you, the only thing you could do is pause the game and leave it paused. <laughs> and leave it with on the overnight. the game system turned on, yeah, while you go to school and you would come back home, unpause it, and you're like, I'm going to beat Sandman and punch out. It is going to happen. <laughs> you come home to unpause it and realize that, you're, that your stupid little brother uh, turned it off. And you're right. like, no, there was, Tony. There was a power surge and suddenly all of your your progress in <laughs> legend of zelda has been erased the the main thing that i think that they need to emulate here and i don't think they're going to be able to do it because it's not a cartridge based system is the requirement every once in a while to have to blow into the cartridge in yeah, order for it to right. actually work and i don't know how you do that maybe there's a virtual representation of that I'm here, not here's sure. how you do it here's how you do it Jason. You, you, you have you have the the system so it looks like a, a nintendo system and you flip the little thing up as if a cartridge ah, were to go in. Okay. It, it actually doesn't have a cartridge there, but it does have a microphone. And then you blow on and the microphone. Go, oh, okay. And then, yeah. And then it's like, oh, well, now you can play. Perfect. That wouldn't get annoying at all. But, I mean, <laughs> hey, that was that was life. You had to yeah. do that every once in a while. So, you know, if you want to get to emulating the real experience, you, you got to go with that inconvenience.